Members of a planned white supremacist march in Durham last week brought out hundreds of counter protesters and police in riot gear along with them plenty of extra law enforcement officers and tonight we wanted to know about how much that extra police and deputy presence cost. Our investigative reporter Jonathan Rodriguez is at our answer desk with more. Jonathan. Yeah, Sean, the turnout was huge. Several hundred people out there, which meant police presence had to be big as well. So let's start with the sheriff's office. I asked how many deputies responded to the rally. A spokesperson told me it was a security risk to give me that information. I also asked how much overtime was paid. They would only tell me that if a deputy worked past their shift, they got overtime. Now, Durham police were also on scene out there. They were not just patrolling the sidewalks, but they actually showed up in full tactical gear. Uh, once the march started moving throughout the city, the department tells me about 120 officers we're working the rally. They say that they're still crunching the numbers on how much overtime will be paid. But we talked to a, dirty, a Durham City Council member, Charlie Reese, last night about the response. Uh, even though those were images you never want to see, our police officers in those kind of gear stretched across a public street, it's, it's easy to understand why they felt like they had to do that. Now we asked the sheriff's office for some ballpark figures on how much miss may have cost the taxpayers. If we get that, if we don't get that, then we'll have to file a public records request and go through those numbers ourselves. I'll keep you posted on what we find out, Sean. All right, Jonathan, thank you. And